everybody, welcome back for another video. I just got back from a trip. It was a trip that I wasn't planning on taking in any time in the future uh, or in the foreseeable future. Um, my brother passed away. He um, uh, has a, had a uh, degenerative muscular disorder that he was born with. It kind of falls under the umbrella of muscular dystrophy. And um, <clears throat> we knew sooner rather than later, it, it, it was getting close. Um, it was still incredibly horribly difficult to, to go through to put your older brother down to rest. Um, so I actually had to pack, um, and I haven't really left my home other than, you know, for work and, you know, errands and stuff, but I haven't had to, like, pack things um, since pre-COVID. So since the end of February of 2020, we haven't really traveled anywhere. So... <clears throat> One thing that is a little bit different is, I'll just show you really quick, is I took, of course, my passport wallet, but I did have it in my black Midori, my traveler's notebook. Um, this cute thing arrived while we were away, and it is a passport notebook uh, by Keely Reichman at Odd Girl Journals, and it is the passport size. And you'll see it has the zipper pouch, where I usually, usually use it to keep um, like my union card, a faculty ID, and some cash or stamps. Um, it has card slots here. I keep my vaccination card there. Um, my monthly calendar. This I already had, but I've got like my um, cards and stuff in there as well. Um, and then she also included this. It's one of the cute folders. And then I have a um, Traveler's Company Undated. Kitty might jump up here, um, so I'm just warning you. And then I have the pocket back here and a pen loop. So this is my new wallet that I'm using. So I did carry these contents with me. We will see what she does. Um, the next item that I took with me, oop, let me get her down. She's going to knock everything off again. <laughs> it wouldn't be a filming without her trying to make an appearance. I took this with me. Um, it is another, you can see, Odd Girl Journal's Keely Reichman from the Trader Joe's Avocado Bag. Um, and this I have my monthly calendar for 2021. We're getting towards the very end. Here we are. And then I have my weekly insert here. I was keeping track of my art journal challenge, which got paused. <laughs> I was doing really good up until the day my brother died. And then, or actually the day before he died, I was really doing good. But we will finish that. That will, it will come, it will come to a close. And then I'm planning stuff for Patreon for next month and some of my patrons and some ideas for January, just stuff like that. And then I did bring a insert, a new insert that I made, and I started doing some doodling. Uh, the night we were traveling back, it was a Sunday night, the first night, we stopped off at a hotel and I, it was Sunday, so I watched Job's um, Twitch stream, and while he was journaling and stuff, I did some art journaling myself. And then, of course, it has my notes insert in it. So that I took. And there was one other notebook that came with me. And it is this one. It is my A5 bullet journal. But once my brother died... And then the funeral, I didn't really do much in here, but I brought it, um, yeah. 
I haven't really done much in here, but it's almost completely full. There's just a few pages there in the middle that don't have anything on it. But yeah, so there's that. <clears throat> but I did bring a few art supplies. Of course, my favorite Pentel Energel Klena, which I have a brown 07 uh, refill in it. My pencil pouch. I went back to my Angu one that I got from Amazon. I think you can get these on, um, uh, what's it called? AliExpress as well. I got mine on Amazon because prime shipping. So I did pack a couple of washi tapes of my favorites, some MT, some of Job's, some alcohol swabs. Um, <clears throat> I have a Palomino Blackwing Pearl, one of the Ticonderoga Silver Noirs that have the, the black wood with the black wing pen tip, pencil tip protectors. Let's see. This is an Arteza Inconic Fine Liner. I have two of the Zig Clean Color Dot in a gray and in a color called Fawn. <clears throat> My Twisby Go Fountain Pen. Actually, my favorite fountain pen. A couple of Pentels. Um, this is in a 05 black. This is in a 05 black. And this is in a 07 black. So I had a little quartet of pens. My Pentel mechanical pencil. My Kuratake eraser. Uh, this is the Hobonichi pen from this year, from 2021. This is a Sarasa multi-pen, which has like a pencil and then four pens. And this is one of the new Sharpie rollers. It kind of reminds me of um, the Uniball, one of the Uniball roller pens. Uh, a ruler, a couple erasers, and some lead for my mechanical pencils, 05 HB. Oh, and of course, you can't forget the uh, Tombow uh, corrective tape. Let me put all this stuff in here. No. <laughs> Kitty's going to try and jump up again because that's what she do. <clears throat> and the last thing that I packed on my trip was this pouch here. This is a pouch uh, from Mindy Lacefield. See, so it has one of her little birdies on it. And in it, I've got a few things. I used it just to keep everything all together. So the first thing we'll go through is I have an aqua brush, an Arteza aqua brush, some paper towel, my Viviva watercolor sheets. These things when traveling come in really handy. They act like a watercolor, um, but once they're dry, they're permanent. They don't move like watercolor. Um, a book binder clip to hold my journal open. And then this little tin here just has a pencil sharpener, colored pencil sharpener in it. <clears throat> so I kept all this stuff in this little pouch just because there was water in the brush. Now, this little pouch, and these I just got at Michael's or the Artist Loft. What you'll see in here are 
combo dual brush markers. A variety of colors, a couple of duplicates because I know one of them is good and one of them is eh, not so good. <laughs> so that's what's in there. Tombow dual brush markers. And the last thing is in here. And I didn't use these at all. These are like my little travel set of colored pencils. These are all by Arteza. They're from the 120 set. I have a couple of blenders. I got a couple of Derwent blenders and um, Prismacolor blenders. Um, but this comes from the 120 set. And um, there are some of my favorite colors that I use all the time. Oh, I also have a um, Prismacolor or Colorace that I really like. It's great for drawing because it will blend in with the markers and pencils and watercolors that you use. So there. That. And I like that they all barely fit <laughs> in here. Um, but it's, it's a nice little pouch to hold just my colored pencils. And I tend to sometimes just take this. I only took these two because we were going to be gone a little bit longer, and I actually used these. I didn't use these this time. I also didn't journal much while I was away. Um, I didn't really touch my planner much when I was away. Um, and you know, that's okay, you know, because I was there to be with family, to, to help us heal in this difficult time. But I brought these things just because I thought I might want to use them. And, you know, I did briefly for a period of time. But there you go. I just thought I would share since <laughs> we haven't really been traveling many places and I actually did. It'd be good to uh, document what I took and what I used and what I didn't use. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I hope everyone is safe and well, and I don't know when this will go up, but I do hope everyone has a wonderful holiday and a wonderful new year. Bye-bye.